Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're back, welcome again. <laughs> Today's vlog is pretty much discussing about the different stages of grief and going through a breakup and what I've been going through lately. So as you may or may not know that I'm recently going through a breakup and I thought it'd be really unusual of me to talk about it in my YouTube. Um, just in regards to possibly helping other people out there that may have been going through the similar situation and may need advice and obviously it's been a short time it's been about a month since the breakup um, since my breakup and I wanted to document this because I had some really amazing new learnings that I feel like will be really beneficial to people and help them and since I am alone a lot more than usual I think it would be important to speak from the heart so I wanted to start off with the stages of grief I was talking to my friend the other day about how I've been grieving, how I've been going through my recovery phase of this time for me, how I've been healing. And I've noticed that I'm not only grieving what's happened to me now and what has happened, I'm grieving my past, my present, and also my future. So I'm in mourning for my future because I was in a relationship with someone I considered being my end game and being the person th that would be my, the father of my children. So I guess um, I was grieving the future, you know, having those plans, having those goals. And just before this video, I, I did a meditation, a healing meditation to express my emotions and get my emotions to bring up my emotions because I think it's really important to have moments where you feel your emotions and be within your emotions and so I am a little bit teary I have already cried today um, right before this video and it it's okay to be like this it's okay to um, feel alone at times and I feel like these are signs of healing. It's okay to get flashbacks and memories of that person. And it's okay to be crying from your heart chakra. And that's where I feel it most is like in my chest area where my heart chakra is. That's where I've been feeling this the most um, because Ultimately, it's a heartbreak and even though it may be for the better, it's still gonna hurt and it's okay to be hurt at the moment. But yeah, in going back to like grieving your future, my future, grieving my future, it definitely kind of hit harder. Like grieving the past and the present, yes, I'm kind of past that point now, you know, I felt the feelings that arised for me was, you know, being upset. It started with shock, and then I was being upset, and then I was a bit of anger, a little bit of hope, and then gratitude is probably my last feeling. And I think that's the best feeling to come out of it, is making peace with what has happened and finding gratitude with what is happening and what has happened and just being really thankful for yourself at this time and really just expressing those emotions healthy and finding like a meditation or a hypnotherapy to help you express those emotions and really just feel them and then find like a, gra a real deep sense of gratitude 
for yourself for being strong for the people around you for supporting you and yeah most of all like for yourself and your past relationships and yeah I think it's really important and also reflecting on yourself and what has happened and giving yourself time to journal out things that you may have been feeling or things that have been happening and just getting it out on paper has really helped me as it's been somewhere I can go to just really allow my pen to just do what what it wants and I think when you go through a breakup sometimes you can get like a little bit of a spiritual download and you can start reading signs and feeding yourself that spiritual awakening can really help you heal better and come out of it a lot stronger and have a sense of good direction and I really believe in um, spirituality little signs such as seeing numbers repeat itself or you know just even a rainbow or something that's nature or something along those lines that makes me feel like I'm on the right path um, has really helped me stay optimistic about my future and I feel like that's like a sign of healing and another sign of healing would probably be having things to look forward to in life and um, getting excited about things in your life I think when you're grieving as well you can have like a sense of impulsiveness and like depending on your personality like you can be shut off from people you can be really impulsive and just do things and not really think of consequences because you're in you might be coming from a place of hurt so like just being more aware of like what you're doing and why you want to do it is really important during that time of recovery and I've been loving going for walks or reading a book or even just meditating like having moments of music playing and moments of dancing with the music and just feeling that self-love again is really important during this healing phase and I'm really grateful that I've been like entering like new new um, fitness classes and being a among friends and just like being able to breathe and sweat and get my body moving is a real nice way of just releasing more of that energy that could be stagnant within your body rather than you know being in bed and hopeless and crying all the time so I've been really enjoying doing stuff like that and like personally once you start slowly releasing those memories or slowly not thinking so much about that person that you once spent your whole life with you slowly realize of like what your own life is and what you want for yourself and you get to weigh up options for you and only you and that's like a real strong person a self recognition of yourself you know so personally I think journaling really helps with that as well because you can not have anyone respond you're responding your own message when you journal so I think that's why journaling is so important and meditating tapping into your subconscious like I went to a hypnotherapy session with a fellow hypnotherapist and because I do hypnotherapy we did it on each other and it was so nice to kind of have a little bit of like an awakening to my subconscious and diving into my subconscious to know what's going on there you know and we did this amazing method and I had this like amazing vision and it was dark and bucket and the bucket was empty and then kind of can't remember as much because it's almost like a dream you know it kind of fades but your subconscious gives you this message and it's just what you need to move on to the next stage in your life and that's what I really want to share with you guys and just be honest with you and, and tell you how I've been going with my life and 
yeah it's just been really nice i'm just going to do a little quick meditation with you so if you're in a place where you can just have a moment to yourself and just um step into your body take a nice deep breath in and let go with the exhale do two more of them inhaling and then exhaling really nice deep exhale on the next inhale we'll hold for four so inhaling holding exhaling allowing it to just go and a few natural breaths maybe a hand on your heart maybe two breathing into this area allowing the oxygen to reach your heart chakra allowing the oxygen to clear the space seeing a nice vibrant green a nice vibrant emerald green and as you're breathing it's getting brighter and brighter and every inhale and exhale allowing it to clearing and cleaning and sparkling every inhale and exhale letting go bowing your head and thanking yourself appreciate yourself for coming this far for being here today say I thank you I thank me I am so grateful for me I'm so grateful for my self-recognition I'm so grateful for who I am today allowing any noises any sounds, any moments, any memories. Allow them to just melt away. And this moment's just for you. A nice vibrant green. A beautiful vibrant green. Making you healthier, stronger, and more loving. Thank you. Mm. Gently opening your eyes when you're ready, nice and softly. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better. Thank you guys. I am so excited to share this video with you. I don't know if you heard my stomach growling or making weird noises. That's a good sign. It means there's movement happening. <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful night, day, wherever you may be in this moment. Very much appreciate you and thank you for following me and being around and sharing this energy. So thank you. Bye.